In a distant land, there lived a woman named Amara. She was renowned for her exceptional beauty and charm. Amara was a courtesan, and her beauty was so captivating that golden chariots were a common sight at the gates of her palace. Even great kings had to wait to seek an audience with her. Her wealth was immense to the extent that she could acquire entire kingdoms. Beneath all the opulence, Amara suffered in her own way. Within that captivating exterior resided a soul yearning for true love. People referred to her as the Nagarvadu, which translates to the wife of the entire town. One day while standing on her terrace, Amara spotted a young Buddhist monk who carried nothing but a begging bowl. Yet, he exuded an extraordinary presence, awareness, and grace. She was instantly mesmerized by his aura and rushed down to him saying, Monk, please accept a meal at my home. The monk graciously accepted her invitation. While serving him, Amara mentioned, in three days the rainy season will commence. I invite you to stay in my house for four months. Typically, Buddhist monks stay in one place for four months during the rainy season, while they continuously travel for the remaining eight months. Usually, they do not stay in one place for more than three days. The monk replied, I will seek permission from my master, and if he allows, I will come. Before the young monk could reach his assembly, his fellow monks who had witnessed the encounter hurried to their master and informed him. They believed that the monk should be stopped, as Amara had invited him to stay at her house for four months. Staying in a courtesan's house was deemed inappropriate. The master, however, calmly said, keep quiet, let him come. When the young monk returned to the master and explained the situation, the master looked into his eyes and granted permission, saying, you may stay. This decision surprised the other monks as they couldn't believe that a monk was allowed to reside in a courtesan's house for four months. They were ready to protest this decision, but the master explained that he had looked into the young monk's eyes and found no desire. It was a matter of meditation versus physical attraction, and they needed to wait for four months. As the days passed, the disciples were skeptical of the master's trust in the young monk. They thought he was taking an unnecessary risk given the monkey's youth and Amara's exceptional beauty. However, the four months concluded and the young monk returned, touching the master's feet. Amara also came along and expressed her experience. She said, Oh master, I made every effort to seduce this young monk, but all my attempts were in vain. Instead, he enlightened me with his awareness, teaching me that real life is about embracing one's true self. Now I wish to offer all my possessions to your monastic community. Amara's transformation into a devoted woman monk among the master's disciples was a testament to the power of meditation and self-control. This story reminds us that through meditation and inner transformation, we can overcome worldly desires and attain true peace and success in life. This narrative demonstrates that people have the potential to change and reach perfection emphasizing the importance of not hastily judging individuals based on appearances or occupations.